Very unusual uh, from the Katanga Copper Crescent in the Congo. I suspect that we're talking maybe, uh, well, this could very well be from the Tantara mine. Appears to be almost an aragonite or quartz. Uh, uh, in this case, I do need to look a little bit deeper. Um, stalagmite, stalactite, almost looks like a, a cave stone. Um, Associations at this stage, I can't see um, associations. There is banding over here. Ah, oh, this is most likely from Tantara. Actually, there's there are traces of malachite over there. There's some greenishness over there. Um, this would have come out quite a few years back. In those vugs, I think we may find some tiny barite crystals. But here, you, uh, please look at my description for more info. Traces of Carsicola over there, perhaps, maybe some Barat over here. We do need to look under magnification. But all in all, a very uh, appealing specimen. Um, very, very odd for the, the Congo. I, I recently had some Barats as well, which which are also quite unusual. Um, but this would be from the, the actual copper mining areas. So chances are that there is some uh, limestone, uh, etc. related. So suspicion here, calcite with maybe some chrysocola, um, and of course maybe some barite, a bit of malachite, all from most likely the Tantara mine in the Katanga Copper Crescent in the Congo. I'll just, uh, so display would be flat like this, we'd go around, all the way around like this. Very interesting guy. See if we can, it's a little bit underexposed. See if we can up the exposure. Let's look into that little cavity there. Maybe some grass color. 